The advanced XPLM connectors for mechanical and electronic CAD systems enable collaboration between the various design domains. In this video, we show an example of a simple DXF and step-based geometry exchange between ECAD and MCAD with the support of XPLM CAD connectors. With the help of the connectors for MCAD systems, the mechanical engineer can provide an initial board geometry for electronic engineers. In this example, a DXF file is generated and uploaded to PLM. Other formats can be used as well, depending on the requirements of your electronic development process. All actions are carried out under version control and access rights, which are provided by the PLM system in reproducible and documented steps. Additionally, the collaboration features of ARIS can be used to provide instructions or other messages to the PCB designer. The designer will then download and use the simple board geometry as a starting point for the design of the PCB assembly. This shows a typical PCB design environment for capturing schematics and performing the placement and routing of the physical board. After opening the PCB editor, the designer imports the DXF outline, including the mounting holes. By combining the ability to import DXF or other exchange formats like IDX or STEP, and then defining the board shape from selected objects, a shape defined in a mechanical CAD system is transferred into the PCB editor. The board now is ready to be populated with components and for routing of the connections. It is not unusual if there are requests for modifying the geometry of the board, the placement of components based on thermal issues, or relocating mounting holes caused by mechanical reasons, as shown here. With the tight XPLM ECAD integration embedded in the design environment, the PCB designer is now uploading the changes to ARIS. The upload consists of the native design data, generated manufacturing information, viewable data, and the bill of materials. In PLM, all data is stored in a data model with parts and documents connected to each other, thus allowing precise control of versioning. This provides a solid audit trail in the context of all documents. For the check of the form factor in MCAD, Additionally, a step file was generated from ECAD and stored in the mechanical context. Other exchange formats are available. The MCAD engineer receives a notification from his colleague that the new geometry is available. Directly from the embedded discussion thread, he can navigate to the data referenced. The MCAD engineer takes the geometry of the circuit board assembly out of the PLM system using specific functionalities provided by the XPLM CAD connector. Background post-processing can also be provided to convert the data to be exchanged between the different engineering domains. In this scenario, the step file is converted to an all-in-one SOLIDWORKS part at runtime. 
Other target formats can be implemented to provide full assembly information. The mechanical engineer accesses the full assembly in PLM. With the Visual Collaboration Viewer in ARIS, the assembly can be thoroughly examined and opened directly from the 3D viewer into the MCAD design tool. The Open and CAD function loads all required components for the assembly into SOLIDWORKS. The initial geometry of the board is replaced by the one that was uploaded with the XBLM ECAD integration. The existing mechanical design may also require updates due to changes in the fully assembled PCB. In this example, the MCAD engineer needs to adjust the mounting hole positions in the base plate. The assembly with the new geometry from ECAD is reviewed. Advanced collision analysis can be done with an MCAD, but is not required in this example. After all the modifications, the assembly needs to be uploaded to ARIS Innovator again. In this case, only the modified component is stored back by the XPLM CAD connector. This saves time. In addition, the modification workflow can be driven by an engineering change order, providing maximum traceability and data security. After uploading, the results of the interactions are available to all users of ARIS that have the appropriate access rights and can be accessed and visualized at any time.